down, it's very precise. At first, it seems very confining, but at the same time, within those parameters is where you get your best design, your best innovations. And from that, we can develop a lot of stuff, like our main villain, Abraxas, is completely developed inside this house. From our concept artist to our character art director to our team, to show how far we can actually push the IP and still have everyone go, yeah, that's Tron, that's cool. Because of the third person shift that we took, you really do have to feel a lot more concrete in the world, right? You have to feel a sense of place that maybe you don't when you're in a first person shooter. We're gonna use reflections to ground the character of the world, to show how he's interacting with the world. So we started working with that and found out that if we had just the whole world reflecting on him, it became noise. What we had to do then was pull back and figure out what's important to reflect, what's important to help illustrate the form, but at the same time still inform that you're in the environment. So we started stripping everything out and then putting in just key things to reflect off the character, to ground him, to make him feel like you're walking by a lamppost, but at the same time it's not noise. And it was actually in reduction that we found our characters, we found our models, we found our world. From an artistic standpoint, it's been incredibly creatively satisfying. Tron Evolution does have such a distinct look in terms of its reflectivity. Don't think there's anything out there right now that even comes close to what we're doing.